Yo, what is up, Sex Peach Crazy Rabbit here. I gotta hand it to the people that are going through all this coding and stuff because I know I would never be able to do it. And now we actually have a lot of information on Black Ops 3 Zombies and what to expect. And that's all we're going over today. I'm just gonna be going through this list and talking to you guys about what people have found. So let's go ahead and get this shit started. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put a link to the subreddit so you guys can go look for yourself if you guys want to. But the first thing people are seeing is zombie character customization. Could that be in Black Ops 3? A lot of people are seeing a lot of coding for that. And I think we could probably expect something along those lines because we do know that we're going to be able to rank up in zombies. And we do know that it has its own leveling system. And also people have been saying that they've been seeing some coding for prestige and rank and stuff like that. So we might be able to rank up and then eventually prestige in zombies. That wouldn't really surprise me. I think zombies might have like its own little custom match how we sort of had in Black Ops 2. You could change the difficulty, turn magic on and off and stuff like that. I think Church is going to have something like that, but for zombies, to where you can create your own character, you can level that character up, and I guess maybe as you level up, you unlock new weapons on the wall, or new weapons in the box, or perks, or something like that. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I can sort of see Chark implementing something like that into zombies, something very similar to multiplayer, but straight for zombies. And people have also been seeing a lot of coding related to old maps, old maps easter eggs, and just old maps in general. So wouldn't it surprise me if the old maps easter eggs actually impacted or had some influence on the Black Ops 3 zombies. I'm not sure if it'll be Shadow of Evil or the Giant, or if, even if it would affect those two, or maybe it's just a different map. I'm not exactly sure, but it wouldn't surprise me if those maps actually did have some sort of impact on Black Ops 3. And people found that we might also be seeing the gun fridge or the gun storage or whatever you want to call it might be returning. Um, theater mode will definitely probably be returning and difficulty settings of course will be returning. That stuff's kind of a given. I mean I would have expected that even without people telling me it was in the coding. And probably one of the more important things is a zombie mode campaign. People are seeing coding for campaign and zombies. Now, two years ago, I made a video about how I would like to see campaign in zombies, because back then, two years ago, we had that whole thing with Black Ops 2 and a zombies campaign. So it looks like Chark actually might implement it into Black Ops 3, and if they do, it'll be pretty interesting to see how exactly they do it. Will it be different from the zombie character customization? Will it be the same? Will it be its whole new thing? I really don't know. I don't know if it's all going to be tied together, or if Chark might have, like, three different modes, like a zombies campaign, a custom match for, like, ranking up and stuff, and then regular zombies. I really have no idea what to tell you guys because I just don't know. I, I won't know until I get the map or until I learn more information about it. But right now, all we know is that we might see campaign and zombies, and that's going to be fucking badass. And apparently there's some coding to where we actually get to play the zombies, so we might be seeing turn return. Or maybe they're actually going to make turn fun because in Black Ops 2, turn was god awful and was not fun at all. So we might actually be seeing turn return. That sounds really weird to say. But we might actually be seeing that come back, and if we do, hopefully they made it a lot funner because in Black Ops 2, that was not fun. And they actually found a lot of sounds, so they actually found a lot of stuff related to Dead Ops Arcade, so we might have a mode similar to Dead Ops Arcade returning. I wouldn't think Dead Ops Arcade exactly, so it might be like Dead Ops Arcade with like a new map returning. The Nocturne Tone loading screen sound, so they found noises from Sheena Numa, and they actually found noises from Darius and the Easter egg ending for Darius. And one cool thing is they found sounds from the Thunder Gun, so it wouldn't surprise me if the Thunder Gun actually makes a return. That would not surprise me whatsoever. I mean, we love the Thunder Gun. I would love to see the Thunder Gun return, so hopefully it does. Um, rocket sounds, that could be from Ascension. And they found some Origins ambient sounds, which will be pretty cool. And they found a lot of new jingles and stuff like that. But some of the main cool sounds that they found was the Zombie Main Menu theme, the Shadows of Evil trailer theme, and the Widow's Wine Perk theme, which is maybe what you are maybe not hearing. You're definitely not hearing it right behind my voice right now. I mean, you're not doing that right now. You're not even hearing, you're not even hearing a song right now, because Activision would totally take this video down if it was in this video. So you guys totally aren't hearing it. They also found a lot of other cool stuff, so like I said before, they had a lot of stuff relating to old maps. So apparently they found a lot of game assets relating to old Black Ops 2 maps and Black Ops 1 maps. And there's also going to be confirmed 9 different perks available. Uh, Juggernaut, Quick Revive, Double Tap, Speed, Flopper, Stamina Up, Deadshot, Mule Kick, and Widow's Wine. There's also going to be some new power-ups and stuff, so the power-ups that they have found that are going to be in there are Max Ammo, Insta-Kill, Nuke, Double Points, Carpenter, Fire Sail, Free Perk, Minigun, Tesla, Bonfire, Bonus points, lose points, random weapon, lose perk, and empty clip, meet stink. So those will be pretty interesting to see what exactly some of those do, because I don't think I've ever... I'm not exactly sure what Tesla would be. Maybe that's the... I think that's actually the Wonder Waff. I think that's what the Tesla is, because I remember that from Call of the Dead. I think that's the Wonder Waff. I don't know if empty clip is from Grief. It may or may not be, but empty clip sounds like unlimited ammo or something like that from uh, Custom Zombies. And uh, they also have some possible mystery box weapons, so we might be seeing the Python, the 5.7, Dual Wield 5.7. The card, never heard of that. Judge, never heard of that. A lot of these guns I've never heard of, so if you want to Google them, you may. The QCW05, the Saga 12, the SRM 1216, the Galil, the Galil, of course that's returning, it means the Galil. The XM8, the Type 25, Tar 21, the FNFAL, love that gun. The Sartich, I hope that's how you pronounce it. The SR50, the Barrett, RPD, Hammer, USRPG, the M23, M27, LSAT, Ray Gun, Monkey Bombs, Ballistic Knife, and the Way Gun Mach 2. So we have all those weapons possibly returning, and again, this is just what people have found in the coding and stuff like that, and I have no idea how any of that stuff works, so 
Don't ask me. And there was also a lot of references to the parasite. I would assume this is on Shadow of Evil because it was in the coding. It was called Zombie Wasp. So I'm assuming that's what the things in Shadows of Evil were, was those little wasps that are flying around, the things that I called Cavsadors from Fallout New Vegas. I'm assuming those things are going to be called wasp or something like that. Well, that's at least what it looks like they're going to be called in the coding. So it'll be interesting to see what all happens, and I'm, I just can't wait for Black Ops 3, man. I want to see what all is going to be new. This looks like it's going to be a completely different zombie experience from Black Ops 2. I know they say that every year, that this is a new experience for everything, and usually it's not really, it's usually like a little bit changed. But it looks like for Black Ops 3, they completely changed everything, and I just can't wait to see what happens. So I'm very curious to know what do you guys think, and if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe when ready. Peace.